Hello everyone, welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. I'm outside Old Trafford with Kev and Colton. We have just lost 2-1 to Man United. Uh, 10 years with no win, going to turn into 11 at this ground and probably the worst performance of the season. Kev, I'll start with you, mate. Um, nothing went right at all. I mean, how can, we put, how can you put that into words? What can we expect? Like, we, we play against Brighton and the performance against Brighton wasn't so good. I expected a lot better today. I expected us to, to try and... He's in his Graham Potter bag. What's that? Oh, I'm not disappointed because I think they gave everything. Oh, He's no. Like, we're, we're, oh. In the, we're giving the give everything phase now. Jesus. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was something there. But, um, I wasn't expecting anything today. I predicted that we'd lose the game. A lot of, a lot of us were saying that we'd, we'd, we'd come away with the points. But from the performance against Brighton, performance against Newcastle, from the international break, we've gone backwards again. And today we've gone completely backwards. We've done the total opposite to what we're supposed to do. Harry Maguire, the, 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 that's the pressing, tr pressing trigger. Anana, another pressing trigger. Did we capitalise on their, their weaknesses? No, we didn't. We just let them play the ball. Anana had the time and space to play from the back. And it's just diabolical. Second half, I expected us to bounce back. When we scored and brought it 1-1, I thought, look, this is our chance to, to come out second half and, and try and win. And then we went backwards even more. So it's on part. I was never pushing him out. I, I was more like, you know what, give him a chance. But he's it, it, under a lot of pressure now. From the second half, from the first half to the second half, he's under pressure now because the, we, we didn't turn it around. The form went backwards, so it's got to be on him. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely agree. I mean, Colin, to bring you in, I mean, we, we were chatting at half time. We just yes. didn't think there was much desire there, much effort there. I mean, what disappointed you the most? I mean, I looked at the game before, I looked at the sort of the match before, and I'm thinking we should be dominating that midfield battle. You know, United have been easy to pass in the midfield. You know, McTominay, Bruno, you know, they've, they've like, teams have been cutting through that midfield of ease. And yet, I, I was thinking Enzo and Kaiseido would dominate that, that midfield. And yet, they got the absolute run around. I mean, I guess when you don't win the mid midfield battle, it's going to be pretty hard to do anything. Well, you won't be surprised in what I might be saying. I actually said this to Kevin well before the game, in fact at the weekend, that the key to this is the middle. I said, didn't I? I said it plain. I didn't mention any wing play or anything like that. Tactically, that's up to the manager. But the guys have to show that they want to do well. They've got to show us that they're willing to try because the fans are willing to give them the backing. We're playing for Chelsea. That's what they should be thinking. We're playing for Chelsea Football Club. We're not playing for Scarborough. Chelsea. You know, and there's no passion and everything is not happening from the back because all we're doing is just putting pressure on ourselves. That's all I was seeing. Very similar to the Burnley game in the first half of the Burnley game and that seems a long time ago. But I'm not really seeing going forward. Why can't they go forward and press? They, we've got the, the, the guys who can do this. Yeah. So, they've been made redundant. And all we're doing is nullifying ourselves. So, how can there be any passion? Because it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I mean, look, we've got a lot of players that are obviously new to the club, perhaps don't understand what it means to play for the club right now. I'm not making excuses, but maybe that could be one thing. But, I mean, Kev, you look at the chances we had and if we're being honest mate like United should have scored five or six we're lucky we only lost this one 2-1 because Sanchez saves a penalty makes a couple of good saves and their finishing was awful, awful. Um, I mean we're lucky we got out with 2-1 but I mean this for me like last season was horrendous this game in itself worst performance of the season by miles I think this is really one of the worst Chelsea games I've ever seen literally um, when you expect the team to to keep it solid in the first that like, that should be what Pochettino said, let's keep it solid, find them out, see what they're about, don't concede any chances in the first 20 minutes. And within the first 15 minutes, they won the look, they've won a penalty, Sanchez kept us in the game, could have been 3-0 three, three down within the first 15 minutes. That's how bad it is. So it's, it's down to the manager. The, like, like I said, I wasn't Posh out up until this moment, but he's under serious pressure right now. If we don't go and beat Everton the weekend, it's on his head. Because end of the day, he's got, he's got to set us up. He's got to build the mentality. He's got to say to the lads, look, keep it solid for the first 20 minutes and then we can try and play our game. But there was no game plan. We was literally playing the ball at the back. Sanchez is giving the ball, like, Sanchez wasn't giving the ball, but he's putting the ball into difficult positions and he was bringing the pressure onto us. And bloody hell, mate, like, 
like I said, three, four, and all day in the first 20 minutes is an under, understatement for what it could have been if Sanchez is in the pool of chances. So, at the end of the day, it's on the manager to, to, to build the mentality and set us up to be solid. And it, it wasn't that. It was probably the worst performance I've seen from a Chelsea team in my whole life. And I've been watching Chelsea. 30 years and this was the bad the worst Chelsea performance ever yeah. literally it was yeah this 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 was this was, was a terrible one i mean i mean Colin, what i mean where where do you see the sort of team going from here because you sort of feel like you know we do one in a few games and then we have a game like newcastle where we come back to reality we get a good win against brighton we grind the result out Brighton's and then you cut right. you come here feeling a little have a little bit of confidence and then and then you turn up and you put in a performance like that it's just like up down up down with this team and you expect that with a young team of course but you know you'd expect one or two players each week to not have the best game, but we're having it in games where the whole team is awful. I mean, wh wh what would you put that down to? Well, uh, this is where the the more mature guys, because we are talking about maturity, there's a lack of maturity in the younger guys who are coming in, which is natural, like you've just said. But what about the older guys? The guys who are more mature, not just in age, but more mature in terms of football ability. Where does that come in? Because you need that. That's why it's called football. It's not tennis. It's not where you're totally in charge of what you do. There's no one to help you. This is football. And from what I could see, they didn't seem to... They, they seem to have to sleep. Not really bothered, they'll try, but not really willing to... Sense of urgency. Let's go out there. And they, they saw, we saw glimpses of that in the first few minutes or so of the, first, the second half, because we were 1-1, one, one. so they were trying, you could see that, but it, it's not consistent. How are you going to win games if you're not consistent? I know there's chops and changes in the, in, in the squad because of suspensions and the fact that we've got a lot of yellow cards and red cards and all that, that doesn't help. But it will cause confusion, I'm sure, I can un try and understand that, but the, the, the bottom dollar is we are talking about professionals. Yeah. We're not talking about amateur football, are we? This is the, the, the highest level you can reach. And it doesn't look professional. No. There's no, um, for what, want of a better word, um, you need discipline. Yeah. This has been mentioned a lot on our Watch Chelsea uh, TV fan club and whatever, and on anything that's mentioned on YouTube. That word discipline has been coming out a lot for Chelsea. A lack of discipline. Yeah, it's, it's got it, to be sorted. Yeah, it, it does have to be sorted. I mean, Kev, I was sitting next to you, mate, and you were going on about, you know, there still seems to be a lack of leaders in this team and whatnot. I mean, how much difference do you think tonight if, would have been if there if there'd been a bit more leadership, a bit more experience on the pitch? Can we can we? I know we can partly put some 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 of it down to that, but can we really blame a performance like that solely it's on not having leadership? It's leadership. It's leadership. It's, the lads, you have to learn how to mix it up. Sometimes you play it long, sometimes you play it short. You get the ball into the middle, the lads on the ball will, will dictate the play. It's coming into the middle, Enzo was giving the ball away, Carcedo was giving the ball away. It's, it's maturity. And as bad as, as bad as it is, I think, I think I kind of Gallagher today would have been around. Because he would have probably gotten the ball a lot more. He would have probably... The pressing would have been better. Yes, precisely. Today, it was nowhere near it. Bruno Fernandes... How much times did we see the ball on the flanks and had the time in the world to cross the ball? Where is somebody saying, get out? Where is the leader? Like, a like I keep enough to mentioning all the players because that's the area I grew up watching. But where's a John, like a John Terry saying, get out to him, fucking don't, don't cross the ball. Every single time they're crossing the ball, they're getting on the ball, they're losing the ball. Where is somebody saying, look, lads, just calm down, let's play the ball, let's get the ball into the flanks. Like, just someone leads in the, leads in the play. Like, Jorginho, as much as um, he left, he didn't want to play, didn't want to play for us, but someone like that in the middle right now would have been brilliant for us today. There's someone to get on the ball and just dictate the play. There was nothing like that today. There was all over us from, from the first from the first minute. Just, just a bit, just a little bit more control in there, really, isn't it? Yeah. Leadership, there's control, leadership. That's what we need right now. And in games like this today where we could have won, I couldn't believe it that we, we was 1-1 one, one at half time. And I, I said that Pochettino needs to literally, like Alex Ferguson, we're at Old Trafford, could have been kick, kicking boots at players. That's what Pochettino should be doing. And we come out second half and we was worse than the first half. So as bad as, uh, bad as it is, I think it's on Pochettino today. Yeah, no, we were, we were poor today. Managers got questions to answer for sure. Players as well. I mean, 
We've got, Colin, we've got Everton on Sunday. I mean, how much do you see realistically changing from tonight to Sunday? I mean, a lot's got to change, but I mean, how, what, I mean, what are you expecting from that game? Well, to be honest with you, it's, it's very much the same. Got to be honest, because you can't really um, have enough time to analyse, even though it's Sunday, it seems like there's a lot of time. But there isn't a lot of time to really analyse individually why the guys are not performing to the best that they can and then gather yourselves together and play like a, a team should be playing. These are just about individuals and without the discipline and the hard work you can't get nowhere. So really I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm going to limit myself to what I think about Sunday. I, th I don't think it'd be fair for me to say something that's not real. Yeah. I want to make it real and we're going to have very much the same problems on Sunday. Yeah, I think it uh, yeah, I think it I think it's going to I think it's going to it's going to be difficult. I mean, Kev, just just in one word guys to finish, uh Sunday are we going to win? It's got a draw written all over it. Literally. Uh, every single the player low block what the Chelsea player like against a low block. Not great. Would be shit. Yeah. And Everton going to try and get us to the counter attack. As you can see today, exploited the the wings. <laughs> It's just the same, same yeah. stuff every week. We can't, we can't keep making excuses now. There's no. something's got to change. And I put it down to leadership and image roles. Every single week we say the same thing, things have got to change because at the end of the day, it's got to come down to the manager, unfortunately. Yeah, no, I hear it. Thanks, guys. And hopefully better luck for us on Sunday.